It's digital game time! Music to my ears. You guys have a hell of a treat in store for you. One of the best action actors in the business. One of the nicest guys in the business. One of the biggest, strongest guys in the business. And when you see him, I want you to remember he was a 97 pound weakling until I gave him all those instructions on how to build himself up. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, I have the biggest treat for you. I want you to see The Rock. Wow. 
there's good weed here at Comic Con today, everybody. There's, everybody's high already. Um, <laughs> all right, this work goes off the rails. I'm sorry, what was the question? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. What was the nerdiest thing about me in high school? Besides uh, the fanny pack. Besides, besides the fanny, fanny pack, pack, the nerdiest thing was like, the what? Tooth fairy. Oh, God. <laughs> no, not that. No. <laughs> I like that movie, too. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you. Tooth fairy fans in the house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nerdiest, nerdiest thing about me in high school was probably, I mean, I don't know, like all the... I would, you know what? It doesn't matter what the movie is in high school. Uh, Dwayne, uh, talk about this movie. It's a continuation of the film Jumanji, which a lot of people here loved. Uh, well, yeah. Were you a fan of the original? What was it that attracted you to this uh, new I film? I was. So, if you guys don't know, I have a movie coming out this Christmas. It's called Jumanji. And it is, thank you so much. It is, uh, it's a continuation. The first Jumanji came out almost. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, what's his name? Jordan, how old are you, buddy? Five, cool. Who's, who's your favorite movie star? The Rock? Yeah, yeah, you're smart, yeah. All right, I got some money coming for you later. The uh, Jumanji, uh, yes, I have a movie uh, called Jumanji coming out, and I saw the original, and when they came to me with the idea of possibly making a continuation 25 years later. I loved it. It was the opportunity that we had to introduce Jumanji to a whole new generation. For example, like George's generation and kids today and some adults who haven't seen it. So I think uh, I think we made a good movie. Uh, earlier screenings around the country, everybody's been loving it. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. And also too, it was my personal way of um, really paying homage and respect to the one man who created the Jumanji magic to begin with, Mr. Robin Williams. Can I have my glass of water? Thank you. Thank you, Jess. Appreciate it. Lovely Jess. That's my assistant right there. That is a rock's assistant. Easy. Woo, Jess. Hold on a second. His boyfriend. Dwayne, I, I'd love to know, can you talk a bit about the character you play in the movie, Dr. Smolder Bravestone, great name. Uh, he's sort of an archaeologist adventurer. He feels like kind of an old-fashioned movie hero to me. In, in, in yes, some thank ways. you very much. Uh, here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! All those muscles. I see your muscles. Um, my character in Jumanji is Dr. Smolder Bravestone, and he, uh, he has this ability to smolder. And yeah, woo! Yes. Woo! Uh, and it, it, oh, yeah, I love you too. Thank you, dude. <laughs> You've been drinking since two o'clock and a half. Rocky, 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 Rocky. Thank you so much. Yes, God, that's good shit for the ego. Let me tell you. you can get him a chant your name right now. Um, anyway, so for a lot of you guys that don't know, the character I play is awesome. We all play uh, video game avatars, superheroes, if you will. But the, um, but, but the device, the cool thing about it, which many of you may know, is that we're actually teenagers. So I'm this terrified teenager who's trapped in, well, this, this body. And, uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, long story short, um, I need carbohydrates. That's yes. Uh, I'd like to know, uh, you of course also appear on HBO's series Ballers. Uh, we got some Ballers fans in the house! Yes, thank you so much, thank you. And along with that, this is your third feature film coming out in theaters this year. So uh, first question I have to ask, do you sleep at all, ever? Well, yeah, look, I sleep, but you know, like a lot of us out there, right, it's like, you know, we're busy, we're, we're on this treadmill of life, it just keeps going, so the, I've just constantly met, no, shit, no, I don't get any sleep. I need That's more sleep. That's your secret. That's your I secret. I need more sleep, yes. I need more sleep. Well, uh, last How do you go from ballers to sleep? Oh, uh, that's a, that, we probably shouldn't explore that. Probably shouldn't uh, explore that. Well, yes. Who funny. doesn't? Who doesn't? Um, <laughs> Last question for you, though. Uh, Last Dr. Question. Smolder Bravestone. Last question. We can do some more if you want. I got a few more. 
Well, I'll tell you what, we were supposed to, I think, five questions, right? Then I gotta get on a plane, I'm shooting a movie called Skyscraper, I gotta shoot back up to, uh, yeah, thank you, I'm shooting back up to Vancouver. So, because there's probably, I don't know, 10,000 people here way back then, so you've asked questions. Um, let's, uh, let's have the people ask some questions. This is the part of the show where the producers are like, oh shit, what's he doing? Oh Christ, what's happening? Who's got a question? La ladies first, ladies first, ladies first. Can you take a picture with me? You're supposed to ask a question. Technically there is a question. Let me see your phone, throw me your phone. anyone today, who would it be? Um, on the current WWE roster, current WWE roster. If I could, all right. Two guys. If I could wrestle two guys right now, it would be uh, well three. One would be uh, one would be Triple H, the game. Uh, the other would be um, the other would be uh, the Beast, Brock Lesnar. The other one would be uh, a guy who you know actually just needs my foot in his ass, uh, Roman Reigns. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, now, nah, we'll go back. I got a question. Yes. Lady, lady has a question. Yes, what's your question? Can I sign your arm? You want to get my signature tattoo? Woman who has a question. What just. Somebody's throwing up clothes. Okay, yes. What's your, <laughs> be careful what you throw up. What's your question? Will I, will I come to where and wrestle who? To the WOW ring and wrestle who? Who, you? You kicked my ass, I couldn't, I you didn't know. Tyree, uh, Tyree, I gotta get you. Know, I gotta uh, question, does this guy, you got my Halloween mask on? Picture, Wait. who wants to ask questions? I got a question. Why are you so small? What's your question? What's your question? Am I going to run for president? Am I going to run for heroes growing up were, you know, like, I would say, Harrison Ford, John Cena, yeah. <laughs> I would say Harrison Ford, Stallone, Schwarzenegger, these guys, Clint Eastwood, uh, you know, from director, anything that Steven Spielberg made. I, I will tell you guys this, when I first broke into Hollywood uh, in 2000, I made a movie called uh, The Mummy Returns and then Scorpion. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, when I first broke in, all those guys, so from Harrison, Stallone, definitely Schwarzenegger, these guys were so gracious to me and they were so welcoming because, you know, they were, all, they were all big stars, so they could have done everything they could to kind of hold me back or push me down, but I'll never forget that. So I, at any opportunity I have, I always make sure that I pass that along, which is always be good to people, always be good to people, right, when you're coming up in life because you never know what's going to happen down the road. So anyway. 
Those, those guys were my heroes. I think, uh, I think you And plus, also, I will say this. I grew up, and a lot of you guys don't know, I grew up in, in, uh, in, from a family of professional wrestlers. And those guys, you know, were my heroes. My dad, Rocky Soul Man Johnson. We had Jimmy Superfly Snooker at that time. Randy Macho Man Savage. Like, all those guys were just, ooh, yeah. With you, I did. I bought a clip. And uh, do you want to tell us about that clip? A I did. Or? Yes. Um, this is a porn that I made back in college. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I just realized no joke. You just heard me. I'm sorry. But, uh, uh, yeah, so this is a uh, this is an exclusive clip uh, of myself and uh, Jack Black, Karen Gillan, Nick Jonas uh, behind the scenes. It gives you a little idea of what uh, what the movie is all about and. Um, and a uh, and, uh, little, uh, what's this, a uh, little snack size Denzel. Uh, what? Oh, Kevin Hart, yes. Roll the clip. I believe this is, we're gonna wrap this thing up now, right? I think, uh, I think it's time that there was some talk I got about it. It's, 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 this is, it's been, it's been, it's been very special. It's been very special. Would you uh, consider playing so, John McClane? So McClay? I gotta do something here, so. Uh, I want to I want to do this thing with all you guys for uh, what's that thing called? Oh, Instagram. Yeah. All right, here's how we we'll do it. I'm gonna shoot a video. And I'm gonna shoot it this way. You guys can be really, really quiet, and then at the right time, I'm basically gonna say, uh, you know, uh, I came here to Comic Con. I thought I was gonna see a few people. No one showed up, and. Uh, you know, they're, they're not behind me, and then I'm going to say, they're not behind me because they're all here. And then you guys just go bananas. And yeah. I'm do all this, and I'm going to come and shoot you because you're going to get my tattoo. And you're going to be really cool. All right. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. All right, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right, so I came here to uh, L.A. Comic Con, and, and, you know, I thought the crowd was... Gonna be hyped, I thought that, who, who just, what, what? <laughs> one more time, <laughs> one more time. Here we go, <laughs> here we go, all right. So we're here at, uh, at LA Comic Con, I thought the, thought you know, the crowd was going to show up, and as you can see, no one's really behind me, and I thought there were going to be a hype crowd, and, uh, well, again, no one's behind me. They're not behind me because they're all 